Hi guys, my name is DJ Selector Skills and welcome to my channel, The London Red, where I will be talking about everything Liverpool throughout the season. Um, tonight I'm going to be talking about uh, Liverpool's season ahead and Watford on Saturday. Now let's get into it. Um, basically, um, let's, let's look at the season ahead where I feel um, that we're not quite ready yet. Um, I expected a defender in um, and a midfielder, but obviously transfers take a while sometimes, and um, you've got to be patient. Even like I haven't been patient, um, I just want the um, transfer window to end. To be honest, because we can start focusing on some football. But a centre back is really, 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 really needed. Uh, that's that's the priority for me because you could get Naby Keita like we like we've been trying to get. Um, so you could get Naby Keita, and then like not get a centre-back and it'll be the same situations that we've been having last season. Um, the whole point of getting transfers in and the whole point of getting new players in is to rectify the, the problems that we had last season. I feel like we've rectified the um, winger problem, but all the other problems in the squad, I don't think we've rectified, um, to be honest, because um, I felt like we needed a left-back to push, or that, that to start, to be honest. Um, I still feel like Milner might be still be playing at left back. Um, to be honest, I don't really have a problem with it, but then I do. I feel like we need a left back um, that needs needs to uh, be the clear like starter um, in our team. Um, but you know, you can't have it all your way. But I feel like we need Virgil and Dyke, and we need another midfielder. Um, I would take Otse Chamberlain um, from Arsenal. Um, I feel like he can play in a lot of um positions which is, which will benefit us because we get we do get injuries on the clock so for example say if cause i believe Coutinho has to play in the eight or a ten i don't think he's as effective when he plays um out wide so but imagine if salah got injured or Mane got injured we can just put him in and we'll have the same pace or if um for example, like Lallana's injured now, or Wijnaldum's injured, we could put him in, in in midfield. So I feel like, or we could put him as a wing back, or we could put him at right back. I feel like we can um, benefit from um, that. Like we can benefit when he can play because he can because he can play in other positions. Um, but I do feel like we're not ready for the season as of yet um, because of these issues. Um, I do feel like. Going forward, we are there's there's no problem. I don't think there is going to be a problem. There wasn't really a problem last season because we got goals and goals and goals. It's about keeping the goals out because there'll be times the season where we're gonna have to win one 0 There'll be times the season we're gonna have to, have to win two 0 You know what I mean? Um, because last season we have to, we had to score two and three goals, maybe four to four goals to win a game, and that can't go on this season because we do. We'll finish six, in my opinion, and we'll get knocked out of cup competitions. I don't feel like we've bolted our squad. I don't think like our our squad um, is big enough to compete on on four uh, in four competitions. It's just my opinion. You guys can have your opinion um, in the comments below, but that's my opinion. I don't think our squad's good enough. We we got rid of Lucas, where we was using Lucas as centre back. And if we don't get a centre back in, that's that's just ridiculous because we was using Lucas at centre back last season. So now who are we going to use when it's all going to tits up? And we are going to have much more games from now till February. Like Klopp said, we'll be having a game every three days, and we need a bigger squad. Um, so him and Stewart has gone out, two players out, three players in, and, and it was already a thin squad. And I feel like we need. Um, a much much bigger squad. I would even say three to four players that we need um, in the squad. If I'm honest, that's just me being honest. That's and it's just my opinion. Um, and you can just take my opinion if you if you if you agree with it. Um, you can agree if you don't. It's okay. Um, just tell me why in the comments below that you don't agree with it. Um, okay, let's get let's move on to Watford on Saturday. Um, on Saturday. Um, we got Watford, which I believe is a very, 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 very hard game. Um, 
oh, we are away, um, and I feel like we have to hit the ground running because if we don't, I feel we'll have uh, problems earlier uh, or earlier on the season because I feel like we're a team that needs that gathers rhythm, gathers momentum, and we need to hit the ground running because on Tuesday, um, we are. Well, this for me is the biggest game of the season on Tuesday because we need to get in this Champions League um, group stages. Um, on, but let's talk about Watford. So Watford, um, they've made a couple signings, um, which is okay. Um, they've actually got better because they've um, bought Andre Gray, I rate Chalapa as well, Will Hughes. Um, they've got some decent players and a new manager as well. So we don't know what to expect from them. Um, which 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 it makes our task harder, but let's focus on us because if we play anywhere anywhere near we how we played against Bayern, we we, we, we will score goals um, at Vicarage Road, um, and um, I am I am putting pressure on us too because these are the games we have to win if you want to win the champ uh, if you want to win the Premier League because that's what I think we should be looking to do. None of this top four stuff. Um, challenging for the Premier League and, tr and trophies is what it's all about. Um, it's, that's, that, that's what we should be asp is, uh, aspiring to be. Um, so let's get... I'm going to sit down and do my 1-11 uh, to 11 team that I would pick. Um, probably Klopp's not going to um, pick that 1-11, to 11, but I would pick uh, Mingale in goal. Uh, Trent Alexander at right back. I'll pick Matip. Um, Lovren next to him. Oh, I don't like Lovren at all, but he's better than Clavin just by a little bit, to be honest. But Lovren at um, centre back. I would pick Milner for this game because we're away from home. Um, and it's the first game of the season. So I would pick Milner at left back um, for, a bit of, for a bit of experience. Um, so yeah, I will pick Milner, but I wouldn't put him there like going forward. But I will pick pick him for this game. Um, the centre midfield, um, I will pick Henderson, Jan, and Wijnaldum. This was a simple fact that Phil Coutinho is struggling, and the fact that he's struggling, um, I would keep. I'll just keep him at home because we have got a bigger game on Tuesday, in my opinion. Um, so I would put yeah, Emery, Jan, Wijnaldum, and Henderson. Um, on the left, I put Mane. On the right, I will put Salah. And up front, I will put, yeah, Firmino. So that's what I will go with. Um, let me know what you guys will go with in the comments below. Um, and we'll just go for, and, and um, let's see what Klopp does because, again, we need to hit the ground running, make a statement. Um, and the statement is to get the, to get the W, in my opinion. And um, I would... Personally, even if it's even if it's a scrappy one nil, I'll take it. But um, my score prediction for Saturday, I'm going with three one to Liverpool. Um, I think we'll be dominant. I think we'll start off well, um, and that's that's basically. I'll go with the goals. I'll go with Salah, uh, Mane, and Salah Mane and Wijnaldum. Um, then again, that's probably because you don't score away from home. So Salamane and I don't know, like maybe Matic from a corner or something. Um, but I do feel like we'll score goals on Saturday, and I do think we'll let in a goal. So um, let me know what you think. Let me know what your eleven would be. What you think of the season going? Um, what you think about the season going ahead? Um, so let me know every um, your you guys' opinions. Um, I'm quite an opinionated lad. Um, even if you don't like me, or even if you like me, um, give 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 me your uh, opinions. I'm all, I'm down for everyone's opinion going forward on this channel. Um, I hope you enjoy the content that's going to be coming up. I'm going to be talking about um, every game coming up. I'm going to be talking about um, transfers, the owners. Uh, I'm going to be talking about um, the manager, everything. I'm talking about and the fans. I'm talking about everything at Liverpool this whole season, um, and. I'm, I will say it how it is and how I feel. There's no holding back. I'll be real um, on this um, channel. So I hope you like it. If you could su subscribe for me, that'd be great um, going forward. And also, if you like, you can like. If you dislike, it's okay as well. Um, 
let's just um, have a good season. Um, and see you later, guys. Peace.